Keeping with recent tradition, Capcom is bringing over 2013's DMC to current consoles. Like many before, DMC Definitive Edition bumps up the resolution and frame rate for the trip to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Ninja Theory is boasting a 1080p resolution and a buttery smooth 60 frames per second, and for the most part, it looks like they achieved their goal. DMC is a reboot of this series that debuted on PlayStation 2. While it still features many of the same characters and premises, it brings us to a totally different world. This time around the protagonist Dante looks like he just got out of a Muse concert and is chock full of cringy one-liners. Forced profanity and some odd dialogue made me think I was watching a small budget B movie. While the dialogue and plot are both cheesy and predictable, they serve the purpose and move the story along at a nice pace. The story hits some interesting notes with demons controlling the humans without their knowledge, but it all ultimately falls flat and is a complete cheese fest. After witnessing the first cutscene, I already knew I disliked the main character and was hoping that the insane narrative wouldn't distract me too much. The world that surrounds the characters is truly one to marvel at. The game takes place mostly in Limbo, which is sort of a demon sanctuary. Roads can shift and buildings are torn apart and it all looks even better on current consoles. Colors pop and it never sticks to a single color palette. Enemies have a great design and some of the bosses are designed masterfully. Devil May Cry was always about the combat, and DMC delivers on that front. Combat is satisfying and involving. the deep combo system, there should be something to please everyone. Our potty mouth protagonist brings along his sword, the Rebellion, along with his two pistols, Ebony and Ivory. Over the game, Dante gets access to demonic and angelic weapons, which really adds some flavor to the combat. Being able to slice someone up with my scythe, then come crashing down with a mighty axe swing was great and had me experimenting with different moves. Demonic and angelic weapons are tied to each trigger, allowing for quick swapping in between combos. The style meter is a driving force behind the combat. This challenges players to mix up attacks and avoid damage for the maximum score. And it's a bit old school, but it works well and might entice those who chase high scores. Even though it's a remaster, DMC still packs a lot of content at a fraction of the price. The main game can take anywhere from 8 to 12 hours depending on the difficulty. For those who like a good challenge, DMC has a multitude of different difficulty levels. And developers also banked on the players replaying the game as there are tons of collectibles and secrets to be found. Most of these are hidden behind little walls and off the beaten path, usually resulting in a health boost. Also included is a DLC pack, Virgil's Downfall, which tells the events of Virgil after the main game is over. DMC Definitive Edition is a fun action game that fails to deliver even remotely likable characters. Yet the fun action and clever level design more than make up for it. If you haven't played Devil May Cry, now might be the chance to jump on with a smaller price tag. However, with the new consoles wrapping up, it might be hard to make room for this one. <laughs>